The sun peeked over the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink. The first light of dawn brought a sense of calm and beauty to the meadow, signaling the start of a new day. Dewdrops sparkled on the grass like tiny diamonds, and a gentle breeze whispered through the trees. The air was fresh and crisp, filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the promise of adventure. In a lush meadow filled with wildflowers, a magical day was about to begin. The flowers swayed gently in the breeze, their vibrant colors creating a picturesque scene that seemed almost too perfect to be real. Good morning, everyone. The friends greeted each other with cheerful smiles and warm hugs, their excitement for the day ahead palpable. Let's sing and dance and have the best day ever. They began to sing and dance, their laughter echoing through the meadow as they celebrated the beauty of the morning. Suddenly, a cheerful tune filled the air, announcing an exciting surprise. The melody was infectious, making everyone want to join in the fun. Benny the bunny, with his fluffy white tail and twinkling eyes, popped into view. His energy was contagious, and he couldn't wait to share the surprise with his friends. He was followed by Polly the parrot, her feathers a vibrant rainbow against the blue sky. Polly's colorful appearance always brought a smile to everyone's face. Last but not least came Leo the lion, his golden mane gleaming in the sunlight, his roar a friendly rumble. Leo's presence was reassuring, and his friends always felt safe with him around. The three friends were thrilled to be together on this beautiful morning. They knew that with each other's company, the day would be filled with joy and adventure. Let's make today unforgettable. The friends cheered, ready to embark on their adventure and create memories that would last a lifetime. Benny's nose twitched with excitement, his eyes sparkling with anticipation for the surprises the day would bring. And Leo let out a happy purr, his contentment evident in his relaxed demeanor. The meadow was alive with joy, and the adventure was just beginning. The friends looked around, taking in the beauty of their surroundings, and felt grateful for the wonderful day ahead. Benny the bunny couldn't contain his excitement. His little heart was racing with joy, and his fluffy tail twitched with anticipation. He wiggled his nose and hopped up and down, eager to share his favorite rhyme. Benny loved rhymes, and this one was his absolute favorite because it was all about hopping, just like him. Let's play a game. I know a fun rhyme about hopping. It's a game where we can all hop together and have the best time ever. Benny took a deep breath and began to recite, his voice as bright and cheerful as the morning sun. The words flowed effortlessly, and his enthusiasm was contagious. One, two, three, four, five, little bunnies hopping alive. Can you count with me and hop along? With each hop, Benny encouraged the children watching to join in. He showed them how to wiggle their noses and hop just like him. Can you hop like me? Let's see who can hop the highest and the farthest. The meadow transformed into a sea of joyful hops. The air was filled with laughter and the sound of tiny feet hitting the ground. As children joined Benny's game, they hopped and giggled, their faces lighting up with pure delight. Benny beamed, his heart filled with happiness. He loved seeing everyone having so much fun. Sharing his rhyme and playing with his friends made this sunny morning even more special. It was a day filled with joy, laughter, and the simple pleasure of hopping together. Polly the parrot, perched atop a tall sunflower, watched Benny's game with great delight. My turn. I know a rhyme about a little birdie, it's my favorite. Spreading her wings wide, she took to the sky, soaring gracefully above the beautiful meadow. Little birdie, little birdie, flying high in the sky so free. Little birdie, little birdie, will you sing a sweet lullaby? Polly swooped down towards the children, her eyes sparkling with playful mischief. Can you flap your wings and sing along with me? The air filled with the joyful sound of tiny voices and imaginary wings as the children joined Polly's enchanting and magical rhyme. Leo the lion, his golden mane shimmering in the sunlight, watched his friends with a wide grin. The meadow was alive with the sounds of laughter and chatter, and Leo felt a warm sense of belonging. His friends were gathered around, eagerly waiting for him to share his rhyme. It was his turn to share a rhyme, and he couldn't wait to join in the fun. Leo had been practicing his rhyme all morning, and he was excited to see the reactions of his friends. He took a deep breath, feeling a mix of nerves and excitement. He let out a playful roar, but instead of being scary, it sounded like a gentle rumble. His friends giggled at the sound, and Leo felt his confidence grow. He knew this was going to be a moment to remember. It's my turn now, Leo exclaimed, his eyes sparkling with excitement. He could hardly contain his enthusiasm as he prepared to share his rhyme. 
I know a rhyme about a big friendly giant. Leo's friends leaned in closer, their curiosity peaked. They loved hearing stories about giants and other fantastical creatures. Leo cleared his throat and began. He wanted to make sure he got every word just right. The giant stepped over the mountain, bump, bump, bump. Leo's voice was animated and his friends could almost see the giant in their minds. He walked through the forest, thump, thump, thump. The imagery was vivid and the children listened intently, their eyes wide with wonder. He tiptoed past the houses, shh. Leo's friends mimicked the tiptoeing, trying to be as quiet as the giant in the rhyme. And then he whispered, good morning, little ones. Leo's gentle tone made the moment feel magical and his friends smiled at the thought of a friendly giant. Leo's rhyme filled the meadow with laughter and excitement. The children were captivated by the story, and their imaginations soared. The children joined in, mimicking the giant's steps and whispers, their imaginations running wild. They pretended to be giants themselves, stepping over imaginary mountains and tiptoeing past make-believe houses. The meadow was transformed into a world of adventure, all thanks to Leo's wonderful rhyme.